Hotel Kosciusko, the history and legacy of Australia's first planned alpine resort by Donald A. Johnson. Located in the alpine region of southeastern Australia, Hotel Kosciusko was built in the beginning of the 20th century by the New South Wales state government. The idea was to serve a growing demand, to experience the beauty in the mountains and have access to the cool air of Kosciusko National Park. This hotel quickly became a vibrant year-round playground and afforded access to Australia's mountains in winter, which encouraged the early formation of many alpine ski clubs. Then, in 1951, the hotel burned to the ground. This book brings the hotel back to life, with its 300 pages detailing the colorful hotel life from stories, accounts, architectural drawings, maps, brochures, rare photographs, and a rich collection of memorabilia. Now, 70 years after its destruction, the hotel's role as a catalyst for the development of all Perisher Range Ski Resorts is traced and enshrined in this book. Donald A. Johnson Thank you. As author and member of the Perisher Historical Society of New South Wales, the producers of this publication, we thank Aisha for honouring us with this wonderful award. Little did I realise when I first visited the former Hotel Kosciuszko site in 1958 at the age of 17 that what I saw then would, some 60 years later, lead me into a fascinating journey to discover the 50-year life of Australia's first alpine hotel. The site I witnessed then in 1958 was, however, lying in ruins as a result of total devastation of the hotel by fire some eight years previous. It was in 2012, with an architectural heritage background, I was ecstatic to discover in the government archives the original 1907 hotel architectural plans and its 1910 guest register. And these documents inspired me to research the hotel's history in depth. Aided by wonderful and generous donations from the personal archives of over a hundred families, some being descendants of former occupants of the hotel, allowed me to weave throughout the narrative significant social history and hotel customs experienced across the decades. The hotel's loss in 1951, however, was not in vain as it became the catalyst for the creation of newly formed, commercially operated ski fields across the Kosciuszko National Park enjoyed by thousands today. Thank you again, Aisha, for honouring us with this wonderful award.